Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous videos. So today we are going to learn about Docker and how to deploy a simple SP.NET Core app on a Docker. So as you can see, I'm on Docker website. So you can actually download a Docker desktop and install it on your machine, depending on the kind of OS that you have. So I've already installed a Docker desktop on my uh, machine. And you can also do the same so that we begin uh, together. So as you can see, I have a Docker running. So this is uh, Docker. We have uh, containers. We don't have any containers, images, uh, volumes. We don't have any. So some of you guys may be wondering what are containers, images, and volumes. So we did a video about uh, introduction to Docker. So if you're new to this channel, you can actually watch on our video. And we'll actually post the video down below so that you can be able to access it. But since Docker is running, we, we need to check the version of Docker. So you can actually do that on a CMD or terminal. So you do a Docker, then a version. So it will actually give you the, the, the version of Docker that you, you are running. So to check in case you have any images or volumes in Docker, so you have a Docker a PS command that it will actually give you the uh, number of uh, containers that are there in uh, Docker. But you can see we don't have any image so far. And even in case that is we don't have any container, in case you want to check images, you can also do image, Docker image, then ls. So you'll be able to see we don't have any uh, image. Another keyword to use or command to check uh, Docker containers, you can do Docker container, then ls. So it will also uh, give you the, the, the container ID, image, command, created uh, uh, time, status, ports, and the names of the uh, containers. So you can see we don't have any container so far. So we already have Docker running on our machine, and we have already set it up. So what we need to do is to create a simple app in sp.net core using Visual Studio 2022. Then we enable a Docker. So if you launch Visual Studio 2022, you are going to create a simple app. So you can see Visual Studio 2022. So you can create our app. That is sp.net core MVC. Then we are going to, so you can say Docker app. So that is our app for, uh, for, for, for today. Then we are going to run uh, this in sp.net core uh, version uh, 7.0. Then we are going to enable an individual accounts. So you can see here, we have enable a Docker, but we are going to use a Docker OS. So you can actually choose the kind of OS that you want to run. So we are going to have enable Docker. So ensure this is ticked. So tick this. Then here, choose a uh, Linux. So after you have done that, you create. So when you create, our app will be created. So you can see we have our app already created. And to begin, if you have created this app, you will see there are some processes running after you've created the app. So if you just uh, see, we have it is pulling Docker images and it is actually getting it uh, from mcr.microsoft.com. So it is pulling this image. And the reason behind this is because if you see on your files, we have uh, something called Docker file. So this is the uh, Docker file. So if you watched our previous video about uh, introduction to Docker, then we did uh, something called Docker core components. So we explained some of the Docker core components. And one of the uh, core components of Docker is the Docker file. So what is Docker file? Docker file is just a simple text file with instructions on how to build your own image. So that is what our app is now uh, doing. So it has the Docker file with instructions on how to build our own image. You can see it is now getting the image from this uh, site and it is actually uh, now uh, building our image then we'll be able to run our app on a docker so it is uh, quite a simple process so that is how you uh, need to do so we'll wait until our app is done so that you're able to to actually uh, uh, run our app so you can see it is checking for missing images so in case there are missing images it is going to pull them from what we have instructed it to do in our docker file so you can see it is actually pulling the images 
So that is the process, so you can see. So it's pulling the images, guys. You can see it is writing, so we have, so everything is going on well. So it is actually using this Docker file to build our own image. So as we, we had just said, in Docker, everything is based on image. So an image is actually a combination of file system and parameters, and it actually has everything that you need to run uh, your app on. Our app is now complete. It has, we expect to, it has now created our image and our container. So if you open uh, Docker, you can see under containers, we have the Docker app, which is our container, and we have some images that uh, it has been pulled. So you can see we have .NET, SP.NET Core uh, 7. It is already pulled, and we have the uh, Docker app. To check this on our CMD, if we just run the same, same command, Docker container LS, We'll be able to see we now have the container. So this is the container ID. This is the image. We have the uh, command, the date it was created, the status, and the ports. So now we can actually access our app. So we now have the Docker app running on these two ports. So we, you see 32769, which is mapped to uh, port 80. Then we have uh, 32768, uh, which is uh, uh, for map to port 443 uh, TCP. So the name of the uh, container is the Docker app. So we'll be able to see something called a uh, port uh, forwarding when we talk about a uh, Docker in our next uh, series. So to check on our images, we can do Docker images, then LS. You can see we don't have any image. We say image, let's do that. It is actually Docker image LS. So you can see we have this uh, Docker uh, app as one of our image with the size. You can see the size of our image and the SP.NET Core app. So one thing that you must be aware of, if we run Docker container LS, you can see we have our Docker container and it is actually giving us the ports. You can see 32768 uh, 32, and 32, 69 which is http and https so if we just come to our uh, browser come in and type in the link here we are not reaching it the reason being the, our app is not running you can see here we need to launch it and ensure you have actually launched it via docker so if we just run this now our app should start it will actually start and open it on a browser so if we just launch it using Docker, our app will start and we can be able to see that in our, you can see our app has started. So our app is actually running on a Docker. So you can see something very interesting on our Visual Studio. You can see when the app launches, it actually gives you the containers. You can see here, we have the container and the images that it is actually running on. So you have the container, and the images that are, that these are now the images. Remember containers are just a running uh, images. So as you can see on a container, we have the labels, the environment. So this is the environment, the package, the uh, URLs, the version and the environment, the ports, you can see the ports that is actually being used. And this is the same thing that we actually saw on our CMD. If you see the volumes, we don't have, uh, so these are actually the volumes. And we also talk about uh, Docker volumes in our next series. So for today, guys, uh, just uh, understand this, then we'll be able to actually see. So these are the files, and we, we also have uh, the logs. So guys, we have actually launched our app in uh, using uh, Docker. So if we just come in now and type in and refresh the link. So this is the link can see uh, 3268 so we just type in here it will open uh, our app so you can see this is our app that is uh, running on a uh, docker so if you open docker you can see we have uh, image images 
and we have our container. So from here, the, it is saying that the container is actually uh, running and these are the ports. So if we just click this, you'll be able to launch our app in uh, uh, Docker. So this is HTTPS. So this is HTTPS, you can see. And the other one is HTTP, which is port, which is that one. It will also redirect it to there. So that is a simple way on how to launch uh, our sp.net core in a docker so if you are new to this channel guys consider subscribing and watching our previous uh, videos see you in our next series bye